Hello, and welcome to this film which is about polyesters. Polyesters are a type of polymer, and you might have just seen the film about addition polymers. Well, hopefully you'll see in this film why condensation polymers are very different to addition polymers. Um, but you'll do some things similar to the things that we did in the addition polymers film. So you'll be able to consider what the polymer chain will look like if I join lots of alcohol and carboxylic acid monomers together. And also, I'll be able to take the polymer chain and, by breaking it up, consider what monomers a polymer must have been made from. Just a reminder of what polymerization is. Okay, a polymer is a very, very long chain molecule made up of lots of smaller molecules, which tend to repeat through that chain. Okay, and the smaller molecules are called the monomers. In addition, the monomers had to have a double bond, and we used many of the same monomer again and again and again with no byproduct. Okay, that was one of the key points of addition polymerization. With condensation, we're going to use an alcohol and we're going to use a carboxylic acid. Okay, so in other words, we're using monomers which are different to one another, and there is a byproduct we're creating water, like we do in any condensation reaction between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. Okay, so there's some important differences between the two types of polymerization there. Just to remind you how esters form, well, the hydrogen of an alcohol is lost together with the OH of a carboxylic acid. They make the water. And in the process, we form this new bond between the alcohol part of the molecule and the carboxylic acid. Okay, so we've got a new bond between those two atoms. And if I was to draw this ester out, I'd get CH3, C double bond O from my carboxylic acid then I'd have this new bond here, and then I'd have my alcohol over here, so OCH2, CH3. Now that's fine. Joining alcohols and carboxylic acids together, we should already know how to do that. But that's not going to make a polymer. That's just going to make a slightly bigger molecule than we had before. If we want to make a molecule that's many, many thousands or possibly millions of units long, then we need an alcohol which can join at both ends to a carboxylic acid which can join at both ends so that this chain can continue. Now if we just consider what this polymer chain is going to look like now, we can start thinking about what the repeating unit is like. Now remember every time these molecules join together we're going to lose water and there's going to be a new bond between the oxygen of the alcohol and the carbon of the carboxylic acid. So once again, if I just color code the molecules, I'm going to put the alcohol part in green. And I'm going to put, it's actually called a diol now because it's got two alcohol groups. And I'm going to call the, uh, well, I'm going to color code the carboxylic acid part in blue. And this would actually be called a dioic acid because it's got two carboxylic acid groups. Okay. This has got three carbons in it. And if I start drawing this polymer chain, maybe starting from this oxygen here, okay, then I'm going to go O, CH2, CH2, O. And then my next bond is going to be to this carbon. So let's put a new bond in there. And then C double bond O, that's a CH2. And we're going to a C double bond O. And then the next bond takes me to another one of these oxygens. Okay, because the next molecule along would have to be another one of these diol molecules, right? I'd have to have another HO here and the CH2, CH2, OH. Okay, and I'd be losing this water molecule here. Okay, but there'd be a new bond between that carbon and that oxygen. That would be this bond here. But notice what starts happening. If I start drawing more atoms here, I start repeating myself. Okay, I'm talking about atoms that I've already mentioned. Okay, so in other words, when I'm drawing this polymer chain, but making it clear what the repeating unit is, well, I can, I suppose, start anywhere along this chain for my bracket. Okay, there's the bond extending beyond the bracket as before. But my brackets have to close before I start mentioning that atom again. 
Okay, so here's how I'm showing the repeating unit. I've shown the new ester groups that formed. So here's an ester group and here's an ester group. But what I'm making sure I do is that I'm not repeating myself within the brackets. Okay, I'm just showing one repeating unit. Notice that this repeating unit has both monomers in it, and that makes it different to an addition polymer. And what I'm also going to form, if I take N of these molecules and N of those, then I'm going to make 2N minus 1 water molecules. And I'll let you think about why that is. Okay? Anyway, looking at the problem from the kind of opposite direction and thinking about what monomers were involved in making a polymer, well, here's a length of polymer chain drawn for us. What we need to do is basically break the chain down or to hydrolyze any esters. So maybe one good way of approaching one of these problems is to, first of all, identify any ester groups that you can find in the polymer chain because by breaking this polymer into the carboxylic acids and the alcohols, we're basically hydrolyzing these ester groups. So if you imagine that we break these ester groups just like we did in any other hydrolysis reaction, and then we put OH groups back on the carboxylic acids, and we put hydrogens back on the alcohol groups, then we can hopefully see what monomers went together to form this chain. Now my alcohol would have been HO, CH2, CH2, OH. So there's my alcohol monomer. Okay. What did my carboxylic acid monomer look like? Well, it looked like this thing here that I'm circling in green. Okay. So in other words, it would have been benzene, one, four, dioic acid, but don't worry about how you name that compound for the waste course, all right? Just be able to draw it based on the polymer chain that you've been given. So we're going to have a carboxylic acid here. I just need to make sure that I draw my two carboxylic acids in the right positions on this benzene ring. So there we go. Okay, so it's quite a simple case of just hydrolyzing your esters and putting the OHs and the Hs back into the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. Bear in mind that whereas before we drew the carboxylic acid as the salt because we'd hydrolyzed the ester, in this question we're be actually being asked what monomers did I have to put together to make this polymer chain. So I would have started with the carboxylic acid and not with the salt. So here we draw the carboxylic acid rather than the salt of the carboxylic acid. Okay, well that's about the end of that and uh, what we were hoping we would understand by the end of this film, so hopefully you do, is um, what a condensation polymer is and how we can show a condensation polymer forming from an alcohol and a carboxylic acid monomer. So in other words, drawing the polymer chain that forms from two monomers and then reversing the problem and drawing the monomers that would have joined together to make the polymer chain. Okay, so it's all about, like it was with the addition polymers, identifying what the repeating units are and drawing them clearly. Okay, any questions, any confusion, please feel free to come and ask me or to post a comment on YouTube.